F double R, F double R, F double R, F double R. Gotta bring that energy. Gotta bring that energy. What's going on, F double R fam? If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you've been here, welcome back to F double R friend request reviews or friends request friends to watch election. Yes, this is a movie request from Shane Spears. Shout out to you coming back to back with those movie requests. Shane said, hey, look, I heard y'all was interested in some comedies. So I got one for y'all. So I'm digging that. I'm digging that. I saw the thumbnail. So I saw two actors that are for sure going to be in it. I'm going to keep that on the hush, though. Brolic did not see the thumbnail. And I think I'm going to just have a good time. Like, I, uh, you know, I've seen I've seen plenty of movies with both of these actors in it. Um, and... I don't think I've ever seen them together though. So let's see what kind of chemistry they have on screen. I'm not even sure what the movie's about at all. The title election must be in an election happening, but mm -hmm. hey, we'll get to it. How you feeling over there, Bradley? I'm feeling great, man. Uh, thank you Spears for another request. Your first one was definitely enjoyable. We laughed through the entire film. So, you know, we you, you living up to some high expectation when it comes to the laugh meter. So, you know, um, with a movie called Election, I'm guessing, you know, we're going to be electing somebody. If there's anyone that I'm going to elect, there's going to be a St. Patrick. You feel me? Yeah, man, come on, man. What y'all know about that? You know what I'm saying? They took him out because they already knew what he was about. He's going to become president of the United States. Nah, but um, I'm excited for this one, man. Can't wait for us to dive into it. So let's get it, man. All right, let's get it, man. Shout out to you, Spears. We ain't going to hold you any longer. We just going to fly right and y'all know what to do with the video drop your likes comment down below and most importantly subscribe the goal is 10k click the button click the bell get notified when we go live let's get it let's we finna go. elect the president i don't know paramount films let's, let's go. do it i think this was 1999 if i'm not mistaken Ooh, throwback you okay. feel me right there in the 90s, right okay, before the so end. I'm going to see a lot of familiar faces, which I love. Oh, yeah, when, once you see the, the actor and actress. I haven't seen this in a while. MTV. Paramount. Is that a freaking sprinkler? Paramount. I don't know. Paramount. I don't know. You feel me? <laughs> it sounds like a sprinkler. I don't know. Paramount. I don't know. It, it okay. is. It definitely is. <laughs> At first, I thought we was getting to... Oh, they ruining it. They giving us the credits first. Reese Those were the two right spoon. there. Matthew Broderick and Reese Witherspoon. I don't know who Matthew Broderick is. You don't? Not Gojira. by name. Gojira. Gojira. Oh. And it's Gojira, not Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that guy. Yeah, he's a... Yeah, I like him. I like him like that as an actor. Or even better, Cable Guy. We, we all remember him from Cable Guy. Yeah, Cable Guy guy. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> she about business. <laughs> Mmm, okay. A school election. For president. Is that a teacher? Okay, so that's a teacher. Okay. This, uh, Matthew actually looked kind of in this junk, like, more than I remember. What? You said what? I always thought he was a little skinny, brawling? skinny. You like, said he a little brawling? Not like, not motherfucking like, <laughs> not like me. <laughs> not like physical 100. <laughs> like, but... <laughs> Damn, that shit rolls. back to the brim. You know, this shit's about Ooh, 17 days old. You feel me? <laughs> he Thanks. about to yep. put that, the whole arm in just... That's why you got to put shit. it on the fridge every Saturday. This shit's getting dumped. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. We used to do that during the security room. <laughs> Man came out the cut like, you doing my job for me? Oh, you blew it, making his job harder. What you mean? <laughs> this man about to... <laughs> That's on you, buddy. Hey, Mr. McAllister. Not wasting any time, are you, Tracy? Well, you know what they say about the early bird. 
Yeah, we get the worms. I don't know about getting worms. Okay. Definitely pleasant. None of this would have happened if Mr. McAllister hadn't meddled the way he did. He should have just accepted things as they are instead of trying to interfere with destiny. <laughs> you see, you can't interfere with destiny. That's why it's destiny. And if you try to interfere, the same thing's just going to happen anyway. And you'll just suffer. <laughs> okay. You'll just suffer. That's real, though. Hey, Mr. McAllister. Was a teacher? Tram. Quit daydreaming. Get back to work. Hey. Oh, striker. Scoop, scoop, be doo, be doo, be doo, <laughs> pop, yeah, magic. Look at this. Okay, the teacher. Oh, okay. In the 12 years I taught U.S. history, civics, and current what are, events at Carver. What's about to happen in this movie? Teacher of the year three times, a school record. Is he about to get did dirty? Or is he going to do himself teacher dirty? Yeah, Carver High School. Derek. Yeah, ethics is like when you do what society tells you is right to do. And morals... Yeah, yeah, you're on the right track. Can anybody help him out? <laughs> um, ethics is how you use the morals that you learn from the story. Yeah, okay, but I, I think we're missing something key here. What are we missing? Let's flick answer, goddammit. Tracy, that's what we're missing. Go ahead. Tracy. Ethics are rules of conduct... Tracy, <laughs> Tracy, that's a wild freeze, man. <laughs> they did it dirty. You right feel there. me? She was a special case with the face, like. Now Tracy Flick was poised to win the presidency of the student body. Mm. And so far, she was running unopposed. Okay, Determined by a culture at a certain time in history. Oh my God. <laughs> Her pussy gets so wet, you can't believe it. What? Don't tell me that. Don't tell me that. I don't want to know that. She'd gotten herself in a little trouble with my best friend, Dave Novotny. <clears throat> what? Dave was one of those guys who taught because they never wanted to leave high school in the first place. <laughs> oh, Basically, he's one he of those dudes. That sounds terrible. Yeah, freaking new from uh, Days of Confused. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Exactly. It wasn't until junior year when we worked together on the yearbook that things got kind of serious. Oh my God. One night he took us this editors is... out to celebrate after a deadline. Tracy, you know, I've been watching you for going on three years now. And I think you are one of the most- All the red flags. Hardworking, sensitive, attractive, brilliant students. No, human beings I have ever met. He tried to remove student away from it so he can. It just seems to me like he might need a friend. <laughs> this man just checked all the boxes. It was the first time somebody ever saw wow. the real me. The me this that man was taking her out. Okay, here, get down. Get down. <laughs> he and the Tang, the Mustang, pulling up into the garage. His wife not home? The sound of the sip, like. <laughs> when I think back on my relationship with Mr. Novotny, what I miss most. No. Is Look at her fit, though. That's what bad bitches was wearing. Like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know it seems crazy. But it is. Jim, what you're I'm nuts. To you, is that you need to go to prison. Tracy and I are totally, totally in love. This man. In love? I'm gonna have yeah. to report you, sir. Yeah. I mean, you're gonna have to take at least a 20 piece, 20 piece combo. What you're doing is really, really wrong, mm -hmm. and you've gotta stop. I just did a class on moral is, and ethics. It's immoral. Mm. It's illegal. That's facts. He did. I like how that's coming back. Yeah. Jim, come on. I don't need. I don't need a it. lecture on ethics. Okay. I'm not talking about ethics. I'm talking about morals. morals. Yes, mm -hmm. exactly. Exactly. <laughs> What's the difference? <laughs> What's the difference? Oh my God. Be a math teacher, man. Yo, bring know. him inside the class, Set, man. Bring that man back to school. Tracy's mom. She, she doesn't understand. No, I say she doesn't. The fact is, I have never seen a mother so upset. I need to hear this from you. 
because I have a legal responsibility here. Let me ask you this. Did you cross the line with this girl? <laughs> yep. You read that damn postcard or whatever the hell that shit was. I did. We. We're in love. <laughs> it's. Get this man out of here. Are you fucking kidding me? Linda. After God. Dave got fired, Linda kicked him out of the house. Exactly. And for divorce. Rightfully so. Stupid idiot. Yep, rightfully so. He's lucky he's not in jail. Facts. I don't know how he's not in jail, but then they had to come back to her. Ethics are the basis of. Okay, we'll pick up here next time. Man. I forgot we're in the middle of class that whole time. So is that why he don't be picking on her? He, he, he feeling some type of way about that whole situation? Now that I have more life experience, I feel sorry for Mr. McAllister. I mean, anyone who's stuck in the same little room, wearing the same stupid clothes, while his students go on to good colleges and move to big cities and do great things and make loads of money. None of that matters. It's like my mom says, the weak are always trying to sabotage the strong. <laughs> oh my God. He's happy where he's at. Mom used to be a stewardess for Northwest and now she works as a paralegal. Nine times out of ten, they say you have to hold on to your dreams no matter what. And you can't let anything or anyone stand in your way. Mmm. There we go. Put those back! Eat me. But you know, winning isn't everything. She about to Win or lose, ethical conduct is the herself. most important thing. Mr. McAllister, don't go! I got all my signatures. There's 158. Way more than I need. Hey, that's super. Here they are. Could you approve them now? Because I'd really like to kick off my campaign right away. You know, in the morning. Right. Yeah, yeah. Those look good to me. Thanks for everything. You bet. This man trying to keep his distance. Sure, she got on my nerves once in a while, but I admired <laughs> Tracy. I really did. She got a tracking device on them shits. When I win the presidency, we're going to be spending a lot of time together. <laughs> look at him. Lots and lots. Think about this shit. He definitely gonna crack. President and advisor. <laughs> the lips over the ears. <laughs> special. And I. <laughs> you and I. <laughs> they stupid. They threw a hella extra Yo, shit that she the, didn't say. <laughs> the, the editing right now. You got the moody mags down here. Mm. <laughs> that man. Wow. He said, I got to spank it. I'm just reviewing my playbook. I have a play we can practice. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be tight in. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be tight in. <laughs> Hi, Paul. I don't want to be Paul. <laughs> Not at all. Oh. Okay, I'll strike it. Mr. McAllister changed my life. Okay. And no matter what they say he did or did not do, you gonna make him run I for president or something? A good man. Oh. You're a natural born leader. Mm -hmm. You're one of the most popular students. If he runs for president, she won't win. I don't gotta spend time with her. <laughs> all the kids look up to you. Now, what does that spell? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Council, president. Oh me? Oh no! I, you might think apples were pretty good, even if you got a rotten one once in a while. But then one day, there's an orange, and now you can make a decision: do you want an apple, or do you want an orange? That's democracy. I also like bananas. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly. Democracy, you could that choose. That was like Billy Madison level. Pig flick, you feel me? She no, got a little higher. Like, a little higher. Is this okay? Eric. Mmm, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> Man got that shit on cardboard. Paul Metzler. Okay. It's a battle now. It's a war. Who put you up to this? Hi, Tracy. Who put you up to this? What do you mean? You just woke up this morning and suddenly decided to run for president? No. 
Well, I was talking to Mr. McAllister about my leg. Um, I, I talked to him and everything, but he just said that he thought it would be a good idea. And how there's all different kinds of fruits and, uh, <laughs> it's nothing against you, Tracy. I mean, you're the best. This dude, he's way dumber in this than in American Pie. Decided to run against me. Mmm, still signed his shit. They think they can just all of a sudden, one day, out of the blue, waltz right in with no qualifications whatsoever and try to take away what other people have worked for very, very hard their entire lives. No! didn't bother me at all <laughs> yo she looked hey, like she right though she she grew up a single mother home like she came from the mud man like, i feel you but that's compared that, to this dude that face shot right there looked like she belonged in the shining what i told you i can't it just doesn't feel right anymore but i love you <laughs> Hey, Tammy, guess what happened today? Don't you fucking knock? <laughs> yeah. You dumb shit! what I do? Not a damn thing. It's not like I'm a lesbian or anything. I'm attracted to the person. It's just that all the people I've ever been attracted to happen to be girls. So you're a lesbian. <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to damn. deny it. I'm not like you, okay? What do you mean? I'm not a Damn. And we're not in love. We're just experimenting. Mm. That's rough. No. That's mm. roughity rough, rough, mm. rough. That's the hardest part of that phase right there. You got to figure out who even really with the shit. Lisa and I were destined to be together. <laughs> of all the people on the planet who would Damn ever all this live, destiny shit. somehow we'd found each other. It was like a miracle. Every day, I found a new way to tell Lisa how much I loved her. If you died right now, I would throw myself into one of my dad's cement trucks and get poured into your tomb. <laughs> Yo, that's wild. <laughs> that's... Visual. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, you was coming off way too strong. She wasn't... I don't know why, but Lisa decided she wanted to hurt me. And she knew exactly what to do. Uh, 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 uh. Wow. She knew exactly what she wanted to do. It was like a miracle. No. <laughs> My leg wasn't bugging me too much, and the weather was so nice. And every day after school, Lisa and I would go to her house to fuck and have a hot tub. <laughs> <laughs> he said I have a hot tub? Yo. What? It's funny because I was gonna say, how does the sister fit in this story? And now, yeah, we see. Now I see <laughs> my man took, <laughs> took his took uh, his sister's girlfriend. If that's the way they wanted it, then that's the way it was man, gonna is be. She about to sabotage it. I them. wasn't going down without a fight. Oh no! Oh, she gonna run <laughs> too? Okay, <laughs> okay. Now we got three people in the motherfucking running. I was doing this to get back at me. For what? I mean, at you. For what? <laughs> Still for what? Like, it don't matter. Get back here. <laughs> Let's get the mic on her. For what? Oh, man. Okay. Damn, she gave him the pats. <laughs> that ain't right. Good job. You can't be mad at him. You can't tell a nigga to fill you up and not expect him to splash. You got to save that for the end. Oh, yeah, sure. Just put it on the table. All right. Can't open it. He keep looking at that ass. Okay, he did. Okay, that was wrong. I thought he was weak. More this way. Yep, see, he keep... I peeped that. He keep... He, he, he just a little horn dog. <laughs> this how I know he crack it for... Nah, nah, foot. nah, 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 nah. He ain't cracking on that. Alright. Alright. So what do you think? Should we get a room? <laughs> Should we get a what? That's not funny. <laughs> the music. Uh... Fill me up. 
That's her. Fill me up. Uh, That's her go-to. Yeah. Yep. Me this thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Oh <laughs> no. Just like that. Formal. Why? Why formal? Do it, Mr. M. Do it. Fuck me. <laughs> All three of their voices are overlapped right now. This just so crazy. Fuck me. Please? <laughs> so like I was saying, things were going pretty well in my life. Oh. This is crazy. I care about Carver, and I care about each and every one of you. And together we can all make a difference. When you cast your vote for Tracy Fleck next week, you won't just be voting for me. You'll be voting for yourself. Mm. You're not just voting for me, you're voting for yourself. Like that. As many of you know, I broke my leg pretty bad this year, and the experience has made me reevaluate what I want to do with my life, and that is help people. I know what it is to fight hard and win, like when we almost went to state last fall, and I threw the fourth quarter pass against Westside for the touchdown that won the game by three points. <laughs> I won't let you down like I didn't then. I promise Sick. we can all score a winning touchdown together. Vote Paul Metzler for president. Thank you. That it's man right. just read straight through all the no, punctuation. No, he didn't have any. That's the problem. Nah, he might have. No, I think no, Lisa no. wrote that. Lisa wrote that for him. He just, he just ain't. That, he yeah, ain't no, okay. Any, you might be right just, on that. You, no, but it sounded like something he would. No, okay, you're right. It's, I'm 50-50 on that. Sophomore Tammy Metzler. Tammy. Tammy. <laughs> Let's go. Her brother was the first person to clap. Hey, she got she gonna win this. She the underdog. She winning this. Mm. <laughs> you heard his laugh. <laughs> I like it. Who cares about this stupid election? Mm. This might be how she wins with this attitude. We all know it doesn't matter who gets elected president of Carver. Mm. And everyone makes the same pathetic promises mm. just so they can put it on their transcripts to get into college. Mm. If elected, I will immediately dismantle the student government. Damn. So that none of us will ever have to sit through one of these stupid assemblies again. Damn. She about to catch the dust. Yeah, you, know, you see how <laughs> he's like, oh my God. That reception. <laughs> <laughs> we need to do is send a message so maybe uh we should just suspend her <laughs> no that's it three days she's suspended for three days no for what? what like what's the for real what the hell is this mm. it's an apology letter you know last time you got suspended you fell so far behind and i just didn't want to see that happening again thanks paul thanks a lot sure you bet Tammy, ask her. Uh, there's just one other thing. Ask her. You know all this election stuff? You haven't really told me why you're doing it and didn't tell me in advance, but that's okay. I respect your privacy. It's just we're still brother and sister, okay? Even though you're adopted, because I, I hope you feel the same. <laughs> Don't she realize he's too dumb to not be genuine? Like, <laughs> he's, he's so serious right now. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna have to jump higher than that, man, or go get a new piece of tape. Oh shit, she about to bust her ass. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm, ripped the whole sign. You blew it. It's a lot better than I thought was gonna happen though. Mm -hmm. Stressed. It's a lot. She about to rip all the signs. Okay, that's his little slogan. You Betzler. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Metzler, you Betzler. Hey, she looking everybody sit down. Yeah, shorty no. You bigger than this. Apparently not. Now run away from the crime scene. Facts, she about to stay there till the <laughs> sun come up, the teachers <laughs> look, come in. And she shit. look like she turning into a werewolf or something. <laughs> I'm about to transform. Damn. <laughs> they are hella dramatic. She got paper cuts from how <laughs> damn she cleaned it all up herself. <laughs> I was worried about the janitor. Like, that's cool. Uh, 
A big ass bag. <laughs> In her car. <laughs> she don't want no evidence. Oh yeah, she trying to sit here and get fried. Mmm, she gonna bring the bags here. The bags gonna get fried. <laughs> like, <laughs> the bags gonna disintegrate. <laughs> this movie is too much right now. Like, <laughs> wow. Mm. And Tammy's wow. old fungi ass gonna go through the damn trash to see what she threw away. Yeah. Damn. I was gonna look on you now. With pictures. She can't prove nothing without pictures. She asked you to come clear the pipes, huh? Yeah. I guess you better get to work, huh? You're gonna be late. Yeah. Here it goes. Mm -hmm. She asked you to clear the pipes. <laughs> yup. She ready. That was, uh, yep, yep. that was his clear message. Come do the plumbing. What? Come on, man. We know what that is. Damn, I'm going to be a dirty girl. What had blossomed between Linda and me was too real, too powerful to deny. For the first time in years, I felt free and alive. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> What's even crazier? What if he gets her pregnant? That's going to be wild. Hey, we, we. he ain't been getting his wife pregnant uh. at all. I guess you know why you're here. If it's about the posters, I think it's awful. I think it's a travesty. Travesty, huh? Well, that's interesting. Because I think you did it. Mm. What? 6.30. 6.30? How do you know what time the posters were torn down? Mm. I don't. I just know that they were there when I left. I'm giving you helpful information, that's all. Tracy, you're a very intelligent girl. You have a lot of admirable qualities. But one day, maybe you'll learn that being smart and doing whatever you need to do to get ahead, and yes, stepping on other people to get there, well, there's a whole lot more to life than that. But there is, for just one example, a certain former colleague of mine who made a very big mistake, a life mistake. I don't know what you're referring to, <laughs> yes, but maybe if certain older, wiser people hadn't acted like such little babies and gotten so mushy, mm. then everything would be okay. Damn. I agree. And I also think that certain young and naive people need to thank their lucky stars and be very, very grateful that the entire school didn't find out about certain indiscretions mm. that could have ruined their reputations was... and their chances to win certain elections. I'm glad you brought that up, because I'm like, yo, no one knows about that shit? Like you and your colleague shouldn't be leching after their students, mm. especially when some of them can't even get their own wives pregnant. Ooh. They certainly shouldn't be making slanderous accusations. And if you want to keep questioning me like this, I won't continue without my attorney present. <laughs> Well, um, <laughs> the same you, Mr. McAllister? Yeah. Just wait outside. No, nah, no, nah, I'm done with her. Okay. Because I know who did it. Ooh! <laughs> Looked her right in her eyes. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Don't go anywhere, Tracy. Tammy, come on in here. Ooh. Yes, ma'am. I know. I know you did it. I did it. I'm the one who tore down Paul's posters. Oh, she's trying to stand firm in her stance of... How'd you get into the school? Door was open. Which door? I don't know. All I know is I did it. Well, I don't believe you. <laughs> I have proof. Oh, man, she got the... <sighs> Looks like today's your lucky day. Oh, my God, thank You're God. You're off the hook. Okay. Tammy here has confessed. I mm. thought something wild was gonna happen. Is this going to make her change her ways or something? Or like, what is this? I told you. <laughs> I told you. You're going to pay for my phone! Oh, no, my God. Quit while you're ahead. I'm sorry, y'all. I should have never said stupid. that. <laughs> she I threw in that extra love. <laughs> she had to go extra with it. I'd have exactly 48 minutes to make all the arrangements. If you finish early, just sit quietly and check your work. I'll be right back. <laughs> this man. Like, bro, she wants you to take her to the motel and fucking demolish her shit, bro. You don't gotta set nothing up. He got a friend. <laughs> like, he got. Oh. No. 
She she the point of the motel was to yeah to beat it up. To, you feel me? The dirty little feeling of we just driving down the road and we gonna pull over and commit adultery. Like this man really yeah. going hard. He about to have the rose petals and shit. <laughs> you <will> see <laughs> this nigga. <laughs> this nigga taking okay. a whole bath, okay. bro. Okay. This nigga taking a whole those are, bath. Those are always necessary. Okay, everybody, pass them forward. Stephanie, put your pen down. Stop. You supposed to pull up, smash, right on and y'all both take a shower, smash again, smoke, smash again. <laughs> Linda! He couldn't wait, yo. Linda! <laughs> this is the desperation of a man trying to bust a nut. Oh, shit. Really? This is the goofiness that's about to happen? A fucking bee sting to the eye? Is he allergic? Your mother's extremely upset. She's at the end of her rope. Your behavior keeps getting crazier and crazier and wilder and wilder. You're going to Immaculate Heart. That's where you belong. Mm, that's what she was Maybe looking at. Be able to straighten you out. Yeah, that's the school she was just fucking sitting there funny? watching the girls play soccer. You think soccer. it's funny? Damn, that's that destiny shit. They playing with the destiny theme. Okay. Okay. I like it. <laughs> they all there crying. Go ahead and join the party. Okay. <laughs> he said, okay. <laughs> Yo, I respect it. Yeah, I already know. I ain't even about to. Let me just go ahead and grab my shit. She's God, thank you for all your blessings. You've given me so many things like good health, nice parents, a nice truck, and what I'm told is a large penis. And I'm very. <laughs> <laughs> and what I told is a large penis. Yo, it's always funny when the motherfuckers just randomly insert that shit. Like. <laughs> I guess I want to win it all, but I know that's totally up to you. You'll decide who the best person is, and I'll accept it. And forgive me for Wait, is it official sins. that Tammy's Whatever expelled? Like, what if the students still vote Amen. for her? What happens? <laughs> Do they tally up the second most votes or whatever? I don't know. Damn, I'm definitely voting her. And together we customize 480 cupcakes. I know you ain't calling Linda again. Hey, Linda. Why did you do that? Do like a you bitch. Really I trusted you completely. <laughs> you and you ruined my life. Do you know that? Do you realize that? I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm going nuts here. And I, I really think we should talk. Go talk to your wife. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. <sighs> still, he sound like his his uh his homeboy. All of the candidates are eligible. You may uh vote for any of those, but not Tammy Metzler. Ready, Phil? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. What was that about? Photographer. Thanks, Phil. Oh, okay. That man really had to be <laughs> Yo, I like her, man. Looking at my own name on the ballot, I just... I don't know. I just felt like it's not right to vote for yourself. Watch her win by one vote. Watch her win by one fucking vote. And that's gonna be it right there. <laughs> Watch. All right. So, let's start counting. Okay. Well, as the election committee chairman, I'll do the first count. You have the key, Mr. McAllister. Damn, this man ain't got no key at the pop you know? this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> he going through it. We're not around, but we're He's still calling Linda. What have you got? Well, I'm not supposed to tell. Well, I thought those were the rules, Mr. McAllister. If they've changed any way, I can... Larry, we're not electing the fucking Pope here. Man. Just tell me who won. It's a squeaker, Mr. M. I've got Tracy by a boat. I knew it. Just one vote. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Well, guess I better do my count. This nigga.
Mmm, and she got the confirmation. So this definitely. You already know what he about to do. Some shady shit, mm -hmm. and she about to know for a fact that he did some shady shit. I was about to announce my tally when. The sight of Tracy at that moment affected me in a way I can't fully explain. <laughs> Part of it was that she was spying. <laughs> How many people would suffer because of her? This mm. man said suffer. I had to stop her. Wow. This is... <laughs> Bro. <laughs> <laughs> We about to have a Zula in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> that shit would be funny as hell. Unfair for someone to Act win. Surprised. And someone to Walk slowly to the <laughs> We definitely about to get a Zula in the moment. Yep. Yo. It is my pleasure to announce the next president of George Washington Carver High School, Paul Metzler. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't go all the way, but. She anticipated the announcement. Damn. Damn. Yeah, the screams in the back. Damn, not nah, facts. <laughs> that man, Michael Jackson. Thanks. I, I promise to do my best. Yep. And do a really good job and be a good this hating ass Shadis ass nigga. He a Keith Shadis, bro. That's why I'm gonna start calling haters. Keith, Keith Shadis. Mm hmm. Hating on Eden, bro. Hating on Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> Pick flick, man. So, Mr. Rand, I was starting to think about, you know, some ideas for what we could do. I was thinking it'd be cool to have a carnival. And then for homecoming. Well, you know how last year's theme was heaven on earth? Well, this year. Paul. Hell on earth. We'll have plenty of time to talk about this later. Facts. A whole year, in fact. I'm trying to eat. I need to finish my pie. Go on home. Don't worry about Tracy. She'll be fine. No, she's uh, not. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, <laughs> Looking like they put the sweat meter on you. The, the character creation all the way up on her face. Come on. What's her yeah. destiny now? Ain't nothing better than snot and milk. She a go getter for life. That's her destiny. She she gonna be the first uh, woman president. Tracy Flick. Maybe you needed more posters, honey. This. Nah. Or if you just taken my suggestions about your speech, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Exactly. It was a teacher. Diane. I uh. Mm. I, I made a mistake. And I. Too late. Shake it, not break it. <laughs> Diane's kicking me out of the house had been a good thing. A wake-up call. It wasn't a setback. After all, what harm had really been done? Nobody was dead. Oh, Nobody shit. Was dead. Yet. Oh, no. You rang? Mmm, I was gonna say someone found a trash can. Mr. I was Callister, gonna fucking say it. Clear something up. Yeah, that's why he was saying it was a teacher. You're fired! Look at that lawyer mother right there. <laughs> Everybody got the meme mug, damn. Like, why would you not? The janitor! Oh, the janitor got back at him! Yeah. I didn't realize he was standing there. Oh my god, the janitor got back at him for the fucking Chinese food. Oh, what? A punchline, bruh. <laughs> In the end, she took almost everything, mm. including the house. I got the car. You hope so. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Mm. <laughs> then one day, I realized it was time to get out of Omaha. It's to that? Like, I gotta spit on you when I see you type shit just for class president? It's not about that. I got into Nebraska like I wanted and early rushed Phi Delts. And at the end of the year, me and my buddies threw a bitch in Mexican party down at the cement plant. Mm -mm. Shit, that was a good party. Mm -mm -mm. Catholic school was great. 
I mean, the teachers kind of sucked. <coughs> and they were supposedly way more strict. <coughs> the best thing about Immaculate Heart was meeting Jennifer. Mm -hmm. I knew she was going to find her little love interest there. Jennifer and I are soulmates, and we're never, ever, oh, no. ever going to be apart. The swing set again. Mm -hmm. No, she's doing the same you know, thing No, she again. got the same game. Yup. <laughs> I was in the top 7th percentile of my graduating class. Opposed? And I got into Georgetown like I wanted. With scholarships. Approved. It's true. As it's far true. as Mr. Oh, McAllister was concerned, Marshall. you might be surprised, but I hardly thought about him at all anymore. It was almost like he'd never existed in the first place. <laughs> Let's see where he's at. Where can he go? Right this way. This mm -hmm. nigga. I was going to say, is he a fucking... A mm, okay, he went to NYC. Yep. Blend in with the crowd. From Omaha to NYC, huh? Oh, sure. My apartment's a little smaller than what I was used to back in Omaha. I bet. I bet. That's the entire crib yeah. right there. <laughs> For real. A lot of character. And I'm cozy. Fifteen fifty per month. What <laughs> they going yeah. or your shower in the living room? Today that shit like probably three thousand. Not as much. And I've started seeing someone new. Her name is Jillian. She works at the museum too in signs and signage. She's really different from <laughs> Diane. I don't know. I've just never met anyone it's quite stupid. like her. Mmm. Mm, yep. I knew it. What'd I say? She gonna be the first woman president, man. I hope she see him too. Make eye contact with his ass. One time. There you go. Mm -hmm. I never know if she saw me. Probably not. She got you. But in that moment, all the bad memories, all the things I'd ever wanted to say to her, it all came flooding back. But instead, I just stood there. I just felt sorry for her. <laughs> this... When I think about my new life and yeah. all the exciting things I'm doing. Nah, she's in a limousine. It's funny because she was doing this for him earlier in the movie. Oh, yeah, she was. He she wakes was. up every day, do the same thing, in and out year after year. <laughs> the fuck does she think she is? Oh, he gonna do it? Ah! <laughs> he about to do it. He out. <laughs> <laughs> They're just going to blame it on New York. Damn. New York, New York. I mean, that's what's great about America. You can always start over. What's the difference between igneous and sedimentary anyway? Don't you? Oh, my God. Let her say it. You he be hating. Fucking hater. Yeah, he be hating. He be hating as On the young fucking. flicks of the world. Of the young you flicks of the world. As I dare you have it. Election in the books. Once again, shout out to Shane Spears coming through with another comedy. 1999. So, you know, kept us in the 90s. Um, and overall, I definitely enjoyed this one, man, for sure. I can't lie. The way it started, the way it started, I was worried. I thought we was going <laughs> to... um. Honestly, I thought it was going to be like Cruel Intentions. You ever seen that movie? No. Oh, that shit is wild. The type of the shit they get into is wild in that. Like, so I thought that that was kind of a similar path this movie was taking, but it's it way, way more lighter than Cruel Intentions is. Cruel Intentions is pretty dark. Um, yeah. So, yeah, this was this was interesting because even from the like the way that they kind of set things up in the beginning, it just really had you thinking this this shit was going a completely different direction. Um, and it didn't. It actually kind of did it. Like you really get to this end of the movie and realizing how much of a hater uh, old boy is like because honestly, Tracy Flick, ain't, she ripped down the posters. Yes, she did that. But she didn't lie or cheat or nothing like that. Like she did everything else that she was supposed to do as a candidate. Like, so. Yeah, yeah. That man was really just a hating ass dude. So, um, and I guess maybe it, it, it stemmed from the he probably blamed her for what happened to his homeboy and shit like that. But we got to see that diner scene. And like I said, my man's checked off all the boxes of red flag manipulation, all that shit, man. So <sighs> this this is this was fun. This was fun. How you feel about this one, uh Bralick? This one was definitely fun. Uh thank you once again, Shane Spears. We appreciate you for this one. Um, yeah, I, I like how you put that because it, it was light hard. It was a lot, you know, a lot more light than mm -hmm. you would think when you start watching it. And, and you could kind of tell by the way they kind of 
presented the situation. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Um, but yeah, he definitely was a hater. And then on top of that, if it stems from his boy, then then you just a dumbass. Yes. Because because I'm sorry if you get if you that guilty and you crying to me telling me that you in love. Wake your ass the fuck up, cause you're not my boy anymore. Like that's Facts. just that simple. Like you're, you're dead to me. Um, so uh, yeah, just him being a little yeah. Uh, I enjoyed the film though. I thought it was fun. I thought it was real fun. I did. I did too. I did too. <clears throat> so let's jump into it, man. Um, I think I'll try to tackle this character by character and then it all. Y'all know how it go. We'll just we'll just get it all out what we can. Um, but yeah, we starting on hating as. What was his name? Jim Mitchell? Jim, Jim, I think it was Jim Mitchell. The teacher. Matthew Broderick's character. Um, <laughs> I can't get that bee sting out of my head. I'm sorry. Yo, that shit was <laughs> looking nasty. <laughs> but yeah, man. Matthew Broderick's character, man. Um, again, like the way they presented everything, I just didn't expect him to be Akeem Shadis, right? Like, he, 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 he was giving his little speech about how, you know, he cared about the students and he cared about the impact. And they're showing him, you know, talking to students and doing this and that. Like, they got me. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. They did they really good at, like, painting a picture that wasn't really there. Like, but we, we really realized that uh, by the end of this, this man is really no better than than his homie that got caught up damn near. Like, I mean, I know he didn't cross that same line, but to be honest presented with the circumstances i think he would have and that's why he went so hard on trying to get her ass up out of that election seat but um he made multiple just bad choices yeah like the one like i said the one good thing that he did do was was approach uh our striker and that was for a bad reason but he at least did help him kind of he reignited that fire in, in uh his life because you know he had his mm-hmm. leg broken but yeah, yeah buddy was just making terrible decisions went went as far as cheating on his wife and and <laughs> having yeah take it take it the edits coming in overlapping each other like that that right <laughs> there is just like bro what and, and, and then uh, you you know what they should have played they should have played if the audio changed for the wife or was he still just hitting it the same like you feel me? Like after he seen, like you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh, like when oh, the, when the nah, because I, I definitely think she was enjoying it more. Nah, once he they seeing. didn't. They didn't really show that to us. So I for think me, she it's was, like, bro. It was like, okay, you, you, you fantasizing, but yeah, you ain't, you ain't you producing still, any still results right that now. You know what I'm saying? What? <laughs> she should have been like, oh, <laughs> like you she know, was what supposed to get pregnant after that. The, one. What? Instant seed. Um, but it didn't happen. Okay, but yeah, the man was he was he, he's a weird, he's a bit weird, like you know what I'm saying, going this hard towards a student, like, and it's it's just crazy that this is where we end up at the end of it. Like, I, I like how you kind of caught that at the end, where he was kind of taking shots at her, mm-hmm. even though her, her life, life was, and and mm-hmm. I said in the beginning, like you don't know him, his life is he's happy, mm-hmm. but. <laughs> It's, he really wasn't like so. I love yeah. I love that little piece right there that they gave us at the end because it really just kind of just bring it full circle around and uh, yeah. I, I I I like what they did with his character, but I, once again, your boy should should be dead to you forever. Yeah, like he shouldn't exist anymore after that. So yeah, you're just failing as a human. Just keeping that yeah. keeping that there. So yeah, I would yeah I, I would. I would, that's one thing that I would love, um, not necessarily for the movie to expand on, but definitely some comments. Like, what, what did y'all feel like his problem was with her? Like, what, what do we want to stem it down to? Like, cause... she was too much of a go getter. <laughs> like, she was about her business, and that's something okay. that probably he wasn't and probably wanted to be. When he finally got that little glimpse of, oh my God, I can go out there and actually get something, aka. What's on his mind, Punani? He felt like you know he felt like he was untouchable. That shit, yeah, that man. Cause the one th- I will, I can't lie though. I do agree with his little end end spiel about his him him and his wife kind of thing. Like 
who knows maybe that was never gonna go anywhere so maybe that that was like a little blessing in disguise mm -hmm. that, you know that yeah, happened yeah, yeah. it's unfortunate the way it happened like you shouldn't have to cheat just to get out the relationship type shit. Yeah, yeah. but who knows maybe maybe that was like that's that's another good thing they did they played with the whole destiny everybody's gonna still meet their destiny regardless of the route that takes them there they're still gonna kind of get there mm -hmm. so who knows maybe that was his destiny to be in new york away from omaha and and teaching in a museum versus trying to be with a woman that you can't please or get pregnant like i don't, <laughs> I don't know <laughs> like but yeah he had a he, everyone had a pretty uh interesting little arc there but his was obviously uh, very fun and enjoyable because he was like one of the main main characters <clears throat> excuse me then we had a uh, tracy flick i'm a fan bro I, I fuck with tracy flick like i can't lie she did have that moment at his car where i was just like hold on what's going on she's kind of like caressing the, the rubber of the window but for all we know man that's just how matthew broderick's character like saw it maybe like <laughs> maybe she never even really did that shit uh, this man I'm, i wouldn't say that <laughs> i would just say that she's just super friendly that's it she's a super friendly person Nah, 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 nah. The way she was playing with the window and shit. Nah. Tapping it. Yeah, that that was that was a little extra. That was, that extra. was a little extra. She put the fingers between the slit and shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like I could see if she came up to it doing that, but like she transitioned from that. She 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 transitioned from like a friendly, like not um God, I forgot the word. Platonic fucking okay. kind of vibes and then you see she kind of like leaned in a little bit and like so that was the one moment where i was just like hold on is she being that's why i was saying i was like hold up cruel intentions what's going on with this okay. movie yeah but um that was okay. like the only slip up i feel like from her in terms of flirting with anybody in the movie whether her age or not um well of course outside of the actual teacher you know we seen we saw that happen but um yeah like she she was a she was a good character in my opinion. She was a go getter, you know what I'm saying? Like she says, single mom. Don't even know who her pappy is. Her mom's a go getter herself. She's you know working in a in a um. She says she's a paralegal, I believe. Um, and yeah, she just kind of gave me those vibes. Like growing up in the '90s and stuff, I I definitely had girls like that in my class who super ambitious. They were in all types of clubs, fucking like writers clubs, getting young authors books published and <laughs> shit like that like it just is what it is it's yeah. ambitious people out there man so i thought her character's cool and then we got to see at the end her destiny yeah came to where it came to so. yeah i think i think it was a great uh written character and reese witherspoon did a great job at playing it i, I feel like this is probably her stick right gotta be what you mean i really I, I don't know if i seen her or anything but she just nailed it so so like on the head with this one, with this role, like, you know, the one I that is like, super ambitious, you know, female that's ready to go out there and get it by any means necessary. She played yeah. it perfectly, in my opinion, like. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I feel you, I feel you, yeah. I mean, she was all, she, she did play in that movie Legally Blonde. I don't think I ever seen that movie from, from start to scratch, but I'm pretty sure it's about a girl who, you know, has ambitions to be a lawyer, so. She definitely does play like these ambitious women characters. I know the other movies I've seen her in was Fear with Mark Wahlberg. I seen in I seen in some show with like Lucy Lou or some shit, I think. Mm. Um, yeah, I haven't seen her in much. Movie. I did oh, see Oh, she's it. actually in Cruel Intentions as well. That was really? another reason why I was getting Cruel Intentions. Yeah, she's oh, actually okay. in that movie too. So I, that's what, another reason the I was only getting vibes from her. The only other that. movie that I've like seen her in, I think it's Pleasantville. Right, she's in Pleasantville. Yeah, though, right? Pleasantville. Yep, yep, yep. But I haven't seen I that movie in so like I haven't seen that movie in. I, it's been like my probably Her twenty Toby, plus. Man. Yo, it's Her been Toby. yeah, yeah. It's been a minute since I've seen that, so I don't even know the plot of that movie or how it goes. I know something about whatever. Yeah, whatever. Whatever, <laughs> <laughs> whatever. But, but you're um, right. She stuck this. She she nailed. Yeah, it. she nailed it. She, she nailed, nailed it. it. And I love I, one thing that I did love about this film too is. The editing choices that they chose with certain yeah. scenes. <laughs> like the beginning was hilarious how they kept freezing on her face and how he was pretty much just <laughs> homing in, going at her like in the beginning. I thought that was pretty, pretty funny. Like I, I like the the editing choices and you know, her talking to him while he's trying to sleep all up in his ears and shit. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. I think they, they they did a lot of good editing tricks here that really just kinda 
bolster the, the, the movie up for me, though. Yeah, I agree, because I feel like during that moment, that's when we were kind of like not on her side. So they, they were like <laughs> they were like hitting us with these edits where it's just like, yeah, like <laughs> the ugly face and like, yeah, we're not about to highlight her like she's terrible. Like, <laughs> but then you realize like, nah, man, go flick, go flick. Nah, facts, <laughs> so, facts. Yeah, they have they have fun with, uh, with playing with us. Um, and then, of course, we had the, the Metzlers. Uh, Tammy and Paul. Paul's character is pretty straightforward, like just a you know kind of dumb jock character that we always get in these '90s movies. Yeah, um, but not but it, as like jock jock, like you know what I'm saying. Not like an asshole jock. Like he was pretty wholesome. I mean, yeah, he was super dumb too. But I oh yeah, like, yeah. Well, I feel like jocks get you either get the asshole jock or just a straight up dumb one. Like it's it's you don't always or get them both. too. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Do. You can sometimes you can sometimes get two, you know but I feel like there's two. always like sometimes one leans too heavy into the assholeness, and then there's one that <laughs> leans too heavy into the dumbness. Like, and he was just heavy into the dumbness. <laughs> dumbness. Like, just no, no assholeness at all with this one. <laughs> Cause like I said, he was dumber than he was in American Pie. Like oh, he definitely. wasn't really that dumb in American Pie. He was just kind of his, the way he acts is just like he, he kind of has like his this oblivious. Boys, That's why you know what I mean? he's around his boys. Like so he's, you know, what I'm saying he he tried to kind of play the part, but he really smarter than you know than he looked like. That's oh, the type yeah, of character yeah, 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 yeah. he played. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And yeah, this he's yeah. just he ain't got no boys. It's just <laughs> it's just his brain on mud. <laughs> You seen what happened when he uh he got bagged basically. You know what I'm mean? saying? He got bagged. Uh his sister's uh little thing. Uh well mm -hmm. forever, supposedly, you know what I'm saying? She just she was just there for the seasons, bro. Do you think uh do you think the same thing happened to her new boo? Nah. <laughs> I think that's why I, that's why I laughed about the whole, well maybe who knows because it, 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 she gave the same spew that she gave about all other girl yeah. like at the end so I'm like damn is she falling into the same trap again like no she about to get heartbroken again like it's possible but I, I I will say at least from the whole like one of the, you know you know the Catholic schools. <laughs> just, just those those little rumors that used to circulate around the 90s and early yeah, 2000s yeah, yeah. so like that's yeah. why i just thought it was funny that she was getting sent there because whether or not uh the the other girl is truly a lesbian um unlike lisa i don't know she's probably gonna have a blast there <laughs> for the next couple years <laughs> like because there's gonna be nothing but girls so there's gonna be plenty of Lisas. Who knows? <laughs> but that's a good point because you're right. We got the swing scene again and everything like so, and we technically didn't see them even like kiss or nothing like that. Like so, we don't even know like how. We don't know. What was her name? Jennifer, I think. Yeah. Jennifer. Yeah, Jennifer. Yeah, we have no idea how Jennifer feels about Tammy. So that's that's a funny point. That's a good good call. <laughs> All right, who else we had in here? Um, I think this is about everybody. Everyone else is essentially just kind of characters. Yeah, that yeah. Characters, right? Like the first teacher, Dave. He, we don't got to talk about that man. He was a piece of shit. <laughs> Linda and and and. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why that situation makes me laugh so much, but I've never seen somebody just be so stupid. Like, like, bro, you calling this woman, leaving voicemails? Like that situation was. Well, see, the thing about it is, like, you can't really say it was that dumb of a situation because back then, like, back then, they ain't got what we got now. Like, you can see plenty, like, millions of examples of bad things that can, you know, go wrong in a relationship. I mm -hmm. feel like that wasn't the case back then. You feel me? You would have to experience that in the real time. You feel me in real time? Nah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Real time strategy. You know what I'm saying? You got to figure it out. Nah. You know? <laughs> Hell, nah. nah. <laughs> Instead of real time. Nah, I, say, I feel where you're coming from. I, I'll say yes and no. Like, I do agree where you're coming from. Like, because we, we have a lot more lessons to learn from that we don't have to experience certain shit to, yeah, yeah. to maneuver. I mean, it's all right but here. This, you feel me? This, but, yeah, but th this, 
was it I feel like this is a lesson that's been around forever, my nigga. You just don't leave paper trails. That's the lesson. And leaving a voicemail is a paper trail, brother. I like, mean, but if look you at who, call and she don't pick up, you just hang up, nigga. That's, that's it. true, like, but look at who his boy is. That goes to show you there, like that man don't know nothing about what's out there, man. Right? That man is lost. Yeah. He was a lost yeah. boy, man. He was a lost boy. Yeah, that man, he got yeah, I don't. I, <laughs> I don't. I wonder what the fuck was wrong. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder. I wonder what's, what was wrong with that man, man. Yeah, I just don't know how he. After that first, after that first time you had said something, and you know we heard the music go, like once we heard that, that should have been the sign. Like, that's a no no. Mm hmm. You know what I'm saying? But he he kept pushing. Well, he didn't push. She pushed him, and he fell for yeah. it. And then, then of course, and, and, and well, he did push fashion. first. No, he did. He did. He did. Yeah. He did. He pushed first. Kind of. No, ain't no kind of nigga. <laughs> that Bruh, nigga said you right, trying to get. You a tell room. me how many girls is how many females a woman are gonna uh, call you to come do they all they shit lawn, uh, fixing shit like. He just told you why. Why? Nigga, her wife, his wife and her are good friends. Good friends. Okay. Him and her ex-husband were good friends, probably best friends, and he's no longer around. That's does just that's just mean, Nah, that's just see nah. that's just community-based living in my opinion. <laughs> like to to be insecure about that is just that, it's insecurities. That's that's based off of the experiences that we've dealt with in our community that we keep on as generations like we would see that and be like that's not right he probably going over there to fuck but at the end of the day if everybody's where they supposed to be and in line like how, acting how they supposed to act yeah, yeah it's just the community helping out the community if okay. i could do that shit and, and save your best friends uh, you know if i could save my wife's best friend a dollar because i could do the plumbing why not why not unless my girl's that insecure you know what I'm saying? Okay, okay. That's all I'm trying to say. Okay. No, no, no. You, I got, you, you got me. Yeah. It's, it's a valid point, but at the same time, yeah, the man, the man failed, man. <laughs> the man failed, failed. Regardless, nigga, regardless, once regardless, again, man. the destiny, the destiny, everyone gets to their destiny, and man his man destiny did. was to fail, nigga. That's facts. <laughs> man. But yeah, I had a good time with this. You got, uh, I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good too, man. I I, I enjoyed I it. I I love going back to them 90, 90 films. They're fun to they're fun to watch, like fun to play around with. Um, but for this one, I would I would probably give this one. If I had to get, I'll probably give it like a seven seven. I think it's overall good good flick, fun to um. Fun to watch at any time. Like you can watch this with anybody. Have fun. The the beginners a little sus. You know what I'm saying? A little sus. But they do kind of, you know, show it in a lighthearted way somehow. Um, but uh, yeah, overall I had a good time with this. Yeah, I think it's because um, it doesn't become the like main point of the movie. Yeah, like, I think that's that's what helped it out mm -hmm. a lot. Drop that score though. Oh, wait, you said 7-7, seven, seven, right? Seven, I'm seven. tripping. <laughs> I'm tripping, my bad. Uh, I was thinking the same thing. That's probably why I thought you didn't say it. I was thinking 7-7 seven, seven as well. Um, so, I'll, yeah, I'll just give it that, the 7-7, seven, 7-8 seven, seven, around there. Just just close to an 8 because uh, it was really good, and I liked the way – I kind of liked the way it played out. Like, I like the whole Destiny theme. Like, I think there's some other more, you know, intellectual kind of themes – that could get pulled from this movie that we potentially missed as well. Um, and yeah, I think this actually uh, kind of ages pretty good too. Yeah. Like sometimes you go back to the comedies and it's just like, ooh, like, yeah, this oh. is still funny, but kind of cringy. Like, I don't feel like this was you, like too, too cringy outside of the, you know, teacher messing with the student shit. But yeah. There, there's the, one more thing I do have to say about this film. Here. Let's hear it. I like the morality versus ethics conversation mm. that they had in the beginning mm -hmm. i think that was that was a dope little transition to have you know from the students to it being used in like actual real life like you know what i'm saying yeah. it's like this yeah. is this is how you teach it and this is the lesson you feel me mm -hmm. so i like how they kind of played into that i thought it was uh 
It was done really well. Yeah, yeah. There was yeah. They did they did good. That's how comedy's supposed to be. It's supposed to allow you to laugh and still pick up on shit. You know, mm-hmm. unless it's just like a raunchy comedy, then it's just like we, we finna <laughs> we you just feel me it. National Lampoon Van Wilder <laughs> type shit, and we just out here. <clears throat> Excuse me, but great scores across the board. High sevens, damn near eight. Oh yeah, IMDb life. Hold up. I be forgetting sometimes, y'all. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm here for. You know what I'm saying? I forgot the last time. You know what I'm saying? Not last yeah, time. Yeah, we, we forgot them on like two or three. All right, y'all. We got the INDB tomato scores right now. Let's see. Let's see how close we were to theirs. We already know INDB, what, 6.3? Six, 6. I- <laughs> 7.3. Okay. IMDB, 7.3. That was uh, the Rotten Tomato Tomato Meter, 92. Highly, see, that's why I said, you know, there was some intellectual shit that you could pull from here. Um, election successfully combines dark humor and intelligent writing. I agree. The audience score was 79%. Okay, so close so, to, to okay, we, 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 we more along the line. To, oh, okay, I like that. We along the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We with the, we with the audience. We with the audience. And this one actually has a Metacritic, too, 83 out of 100. So, yeah. There's definitely stuff you could pull from here, though, for sure. Hell yeah. Especially when Hell it came yeah. to Tammy's speech. Yeah. There's a mm. reason they wanted to Stick get her out of there. Stick it to the man, baby. There's a reason they wanted to get her out of there. So, yeah, there's definitely a lot you could pull from this. But overall, yeah, I think I think the score is justified. But, you know what I'm saying? We still had a good time. Hell yeah. Great time. Yeah. Great time. Again, shout out to Shane, bro. This is a solid, another solid one yep. in the books. So... You still here rocking with us? We appreciate y'all so much. Y'all keep us moving and grooving, baby. You know what to do with the videos. Go ahead, drop your likes, comment down below. Let us know what you thought about this movie. And most importantly, if you enjoy content like this, consider subscribing to the channel. We also have full length watch alongs, but you gotta bring your own copy, of course. Patreon link will be in the description down below. That double R out, y'all. Peace.